Alrighty folks, Tex Scrabner here with Tex Scrabner Outdoors, new videos every Saturday, so if you don't want to miss out on any Tex Scrabner Outdoors Saturday morning cartoon awesomeness, make sure to click subscribe and check my channel every Saturday for new videos. I love reading your comments and I really do appreciate all of you that watch. This is actually in response to a viewer comment, so huzzah! You're getting two Kilted Spear videos this week. Because no sooner did I finish editing the last video than I got a comment notification on my spear hunting legalities video asking me what's better for hunting the cold steel boar spear or the cold steel samburu spear. First of all, just as a rehash, wherever you are, check your local regulations and game rangers and make sure that the species that you're going after is actually legal for you to hunt with a spear. While spear hunting is very adventurous, it is questionable in its ethics because it is so low percentage. You've got to be badass to be able to actually get something with a spear. This is the cold steel boar spear. The boar spear has been around on this planet since the Bronze Age, predating the Iron Age. The Cold Steel Boar Spear is a very robust, battle-ready, tough spear, but it does not come hunting ready. You're going to have to take an angle grinder or a file and then a ceramic stone and hone this down after you grind a decent edge on it. Also, the boar spear has quillions on the spear. The point of that is, is if you and your knights were hunting boar or bear with dogs, this is a thrusting spear. These quillions prevent an animal from coming up your spear to get at you. However, it does limit penetration. While you can, in fact, throw a boar spear, it's not really intended as a throwing spear. It's intended for hunting dangerous game with dogs. That's what it's been around for. That's what it's intended for. And if you put a hunting ready edge on it, I believe that it would serve you very well. The Cold Steel Samburu spear is much more of a throwing spear, obviously, and it would penetrate much better, and you will actually have to spend some time with an easy sharp or some other form of sharpener to put a hunting ready edge on this. The handles on Samburu spears notoriously do break. They're also notoriously slippery, which is why I have this snake tape wrapped around the handle of my Samburu spear here. But they will penetrate much better because they do not have anything to stop it until you reach the chalice where the handle slides in. With that being said though, as a display piece, the boar spear is impressive and it is also battle-ready tough, even if it doesn't have a battle-ready hunting edge on it as it comes to you. But you wouldn't use a screwdriver to loosen up a nut. If you're planning on stalking and throwing, I would recommend using this, the Samburu spear. But make sure, because the handles do break, that you buy two of them, take the practice shoe off the end of one of them and the head off the other, stick them together and that way you won't tear up your target. The boar spear is impressive, it is a tough, pretty badass spear and I have in fact seen a fella on video, I will find it and post a link to it where a fellow actually killed a bear with a boar spear and he did throw it. 
Me, on the other hand, it wouldn't necessarily be my preference. I would love to have a little bit more credibility on spear hunting by actually having got something successfully with a spear. But I'm just a backyard adventurer. What do I know? I've got a YouTube channel and I figured out how to run a camera and cut up video. Now granted, were I bear hunting with a spear, I would probably use this as my throwing spear and I would have this in the blind with me in case I needed to go toe to toe with Smokey the Bear. Because after all, just ask Lambdog76, only you can prevent forest fires. But, as always, God bless all my sportsmen of America. Join the NRA to protect our rights. Please check out my friends over at SOETacticalGear.com. Thank you very much to those of you involved in law enforcement and those of you serving the military. And thanks for watching Tech Scrabner Outdoors.